Hello everyone, it's Air Legion, I hope you're well today. This is just going to be a one video game, but it's going to be different from my other videos. The reason being is I want to actually analyse the footage here and go through the mistakes I made and some of the good plays I made and hopefully you guys can learn from it. This was against a really good survivor of friends who all brought different perks to get saves while I was carrying a survivor in three different ways. They were trying to sabotage hooks to get saved, flashlight saves, and they were trying to get locker stun saves as well. So I'm going to go through each of their perks and you will see why this team was so tough for me to go against. So the first survivor, which was Azarina, was rank 3. She had Saboteur, Unbreakable, Tenacity and Decisive Strike. The next survivor, I believe was the, the Feng Min, was running Sprint Burst, Unbreakable, another Decisive Strike and she was running Iron Will. She is sort of the sprinter of the group to get away and go for saves and be quiet when she's injured. The next one was another Feng Min who was running Decisive Strike, Head On, Unbreakable and Quick and Quiet. She also brought a flashlight as well which she actually manages to get off once. The second time I think she just messed up her timings but if she'd got that off as well that would have really really hurt me. Um, and the last one was the Lorry who was running Dead Hard, Decisive Strike, Spine Chill and Object of Obsession. So she would brought a full on staying away from me sort of build, constantly telling the others what I'm doing. And the second I got near them, they would all run as a group to another gen. So she was constantly communicating correct information to them. And at the start, it really, really hurt me. The perks I'm running are Pop Goes the Weasel, Barbecue and Chili, Save the Best for Last and Discordance. I wouldn't normally run Barbecue and Chili. The only reason I'm running it is because I want to max out Legion and I'm saving up for points. I'd probably run a different perk like Mono and Abuse, but that wouldn't have helped me here because we had an object of obsession constantly telling the team what I was up to. So guys, what I'm going to do is during the video I'm going to take small pauses and talk about what I could have done better and what I did do that was good and caught these guys out. If you guys like my videos, please be sure to hit that like button below and subscribe to my channel to see future content. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get updates. Thank you guys, see you in game. Ugh, cold wind farm. Rough map. Really rough map. Alright. Is the infinite open for business? Oh, we have an object. How lovely. Thank you, Discordance. Obviously, if we have an object, they probably survive with friends. So straight away, Discordance has popped after seeing an object of obsession. As I said in the video already, this is clearly a survive with friends. I think I should have run the shack the other way around, but we managed to get the shack pallet dropped very quickly, which is a good start for us. Drop it. Okay, nice. Yeah, they're still having friends. Let's just jump straight on the gen next to him. We have an infinite right there. Yeah. I have legion, so it doesn't really matter. You guys fucking serious? Stop moving as a group! Okay, nice. I didn't think he'd stay in the shack. Unless you were dead hard, you don't make that. Okay, let's pick her up and pop their gen. So we get a really good quick down here. We didn't mind game that, we just went round in a circle and she greeted it, which worked in our favour. And what I tried to do was hook her near where the discordance just popped so that it was closer. Unfortunately, the Zarina was ready for the Sabo as obviously they're on comms telling her which hook I'm going to. And there was no other hooks nearby. So the best choice I honestly had was to drop her and try and pressure them off that gen. They were just popping with discordance. Fucking nice. Okay. Obvious spin burst. 
here I should have just broken the pallet straight away instead of trying to mind game it. It's an extremely safe loop, so don't even bother trying to do it. Why are you the fucking obsession? So we managed to get a really good mind game on the lorry there where we moonwalked back to change the direction of our red stain and she fell for it. If you notice, she did teleport slightly into a much better position. What I should have done is waited because I could hear the thing min, but I was impatient and fell for the flashlight blind. Always make sure that you are facing a wall if you know a member of a team has a flashlight. You just never know when they're going to appear out of nowhere. Especially if they're running iron will. Ah! Oh, come on. As you can see here, the lorry stops right in front of the locker on purpose as if she wants to get down there, which is a dead giveaway that somebody's in the locker, as my aggressive self will about to tell you in a second. <laughs> um, it's also really bad for us right now because two gens have popped and it's only been a couple of minutes in the game. <laughs> yeah, fucking knew you are in there, you little shit. So I make the same mistake again and I don't look at the wall when I pick up the lorry and the Fengmin almost gets another flashlight save. But when I actually go to the hook, guess who's there waiting? The Zarina has already saboed the hook I'm going to perfectly and then we have another visitor come in and try and interrupt us. So these guys are constantly in comms and constantly trying to protect each other from getting hooks and you can see why I get so frustrated throughout the game. Oh my god, really? Motherfuckers. Any unsafe pallet you should always leave down. This is an example of an unsafe pallet. I don't make that either. <laughs> no. Such dog shit. They're just pushing gins together to prove thyself. You're gonna run to the infinite. Let's catch up. stupid enough to keep running blindly okay so never be afraid to change targets so what i'd done here was leave that yui because she was running to an infinite and i went after the other two on discordance i decided to commit to the zarina a bit more because i wanted to get it down she ran straight to the infinite again so i decided to try and cut her off which didn't work out but luckily i heard somebody else nearby as you're about to see Okay, hooks, hooks, hooks. Just pop 
that gem. Never be stupid like me and just swing at somebody you know has sprint burst. This cost me a lot of time and an easy down. Ah, so here I see scratch marks going towards the hook and I know for a fact that it wasn't that person that saved them because they were unhooked earlier, meaning that there's three people over there. And as a legion, you are stronger against groups of people. So I decided to leave this Yui because she's had a strong loop and go and pursue the free over there, which works out in my favor. So as I guessed correctly, all three of them were there. Unfortunately, I decided to go after Laurie, which was a mistake on my part because she was the obsession and I'm running the perk save the best for last. But in my mind, I just thought she was the most outpositioned and I can get her down quickly. We do perform a tractor tech here is when you go on the corner of the tractor, as you can see now, and it allows you to balance on top, denying that vault and getting an easy down. The Laurie does predict this, however, but we managed to get it down very quickly straight after. I'm gonna lose that corner gen no matter what I do. I just wanna check up on these three. Yeah. No oh shit, they've already improved themselves probably with it. If gen speed is going way too quickly, you need to start thinking about a suitable free gen. And these guys have given it to me. This lovely line here. So now at all costs, I must protect this line no matter what. Even if I lose that corner gen, these three need to stay. Otherwise, I will lose 100%. stacks to say the best for last because that's the only thing that's going to save me right now. Does she run back? Fucking cornfields drive me up the bend. You're waiting for me to come across. And then you're going straight for this loot. So this is where I decide to leave this Feng Min as she is bringing me to another dangerous long loop and I want to stay as close as I can to that free gin. And I found it a bit odd that they hadn't unhooked this lorry yet, so I decided to go check it out and see what was going on and pressure them on the hook. I'm actually going to go back. So this was a perfect fail frenzy, we managed to get two people injured and I decided to commit to the Feng Min because I know the Shack Pallet is gone and I know I can get her here. We managed to predict her vaulting and we cancel our frenzy so that while she's running to vault, we're in the perfect position to continue chase without any stun duration and we can down her very quickly. You don't have dead eyes if you The other one's here too, she's gonna start severing hooks. You don't get that. Right, we're gonna hook you first. Fuck's sake, look at that gen speed. Honestly, no matter what I do, she's already got someone picking her up. I see you up there. 
So we managed to predict the Zarina going for a Sabo save and we managed to get her on a slow vault there. We also are going to get this Feng Min as we predict when she's going to drop. Never go all the way around to the hill and start climbing up. Try and guess when they're going to drop down and catch them around the corner. You save so much time and you're guaranteed a hit. What I decided to do was go back to the hook to make sure nobody was coming for the save and if they did I was going to punish them. Luckily for us the lorry came along and jumped straight in a locker. I'm not scared of her DS because she has not been hooked recently. I'm not scared of your fake DS. Right, we can pop that gen, I'm pretty sure they don't get it. No. No, I went for the window. So we've managed to kill off the lorry, and now that we know that all three of them are in the shack on this generator, I haven't seen anybody vault or leave the other way, meaning that somebody is hiding close nearby and lo and behold there's scratch marks all over this locker. <laughs> Fucking obvious. If I left her in there, she just would have head on to me when I picked her up, so... God, these guys are making me fucking work. Even four stacks has helped me so much right now. Right, that's got no progress. These guys are fucked, they're free gen themselves. Unless they have a key, which I'm not sure if they do. I hurt someone. <laughs> What's that? You found Hatch or you got fast vaulted? So, this is where I think they make a critical mistake by fast vaulting to try and get my attention. I think if she'd been more stealthy and snuck in and got the save and healed up, that would have been more detrimental towards me. So the Feng Min predicted me using the tractor trick and vaulted the other window, which is how you counter it. she done that very well. Unfortunately, while she was distracting me, her teammate didn't make it in time for the Zarina, so she died on hook. So this is how I deal with Shaq. So if the pallet is gone, the only option they have to get away is to vault. So what I did is, is I put my red stain towards the door and then started to moonwalk backwards. On their screen, it will look like I'm walking towards them, so they panic and vault. The way to deal with that as survivor is to wait until you can actually see me follow you in, then make the vault. But it's a 50-50 gamble, and for me it pays off. Of course, I saw the other one here. Kind of want the 4k.
There's no way she's got a head on or anything in this other one. She's got spin burst. Alright, we'll just look you. I don't know where it is. They probably know where it is because, you know, when all four on comms, it's four pairs of eyes against one. Guys, that was a really fucking good game. Oof, I thought I was gonna lose that. It made me sweat for my money. If they want to survive with friends, my god, their communication was on point. When to run to the next gen together, when to do this, when to sabo hooks, which hook to go to, like... To me, that was too on point to not be survivor friends. Nice, nice, really nice stuff. You merciless. Nice. Jesus. Making me work for my money, guys. Jesus Christ. DS, object, DS, DS, unbreakable, 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 yeah. Fair play. Fair play, well played. I wouldn't blame your loss on lag, but yeah, GG. So thank you guys very much for sticking to the end of the video. Just wanted to give a few pointers on how you can deal with Survivor Friends. Never commit to somebody that's going in a really strong loop. Always target people that are vulnerable. That means never being afraid to switch targets. If you're chasing somebody that runs towards a pallet and you can see someone to your right or left out in the open, even if they're not injured, give them a smack. Now they're vulnerable. So always change targets and always be unpredictable. Bear in mind that they're on comms, so once you're chasing somebody, every other gen is going to be worked on they're going to be so productive during that time you're chasing them and as you can see throughout the video the second discordance popped i tried everything in my power to make sure that i pushed them off that gen and applied pressure to them you know you have to show some sort of courtesy as a killer by not tunneling or camping but there may be certain situations where somebody's off the hook and you're nearby and they're more vulnerable and you down them it's all about buying yourself more and more time throughout the game so don't try and be like, oh, they've just got off the hook, I'm not going to hit them, I'm going to chase someone else, even if it means I lose valuable time. These guys have already got an unfair advantage against you. They are using communication that shouldn't be there for them normally in a solo queue. So don't be afraid to play a little bit dirty if it means getting that win. But of course, if you're face camping, it's not going to benefit you in any way. Because the others are just going to rush gens and they know for a fact that you're face camping because they're on comms together. So don't bother doing that. Never be afraid to try a mind game. It's the only way you're going to win certain loops and get rewarded for it. And never break unsafe pallets. Because when you get a survivor to an unsafe pallet, you can easily down them. But if you break it, you're giving them more room and more time to get to a better and safer loop. I really appreciate you guys watching till the end of the video. And if you liked this video or learn anything from it please be sure to hit that like button below and subscribe to my channel to see future content please also let me know if you'd like to see more of these sorts of videos and if you want me to go through different types of mind games you can do as killer and survivor all right guys i'll see you in the next one thank you take care